All right, we're heading into map number two. Alqua is gonna have to come back here. Alfie, yes, one victory away from uh, jumping up to six points. In this group, it is again him, Alfie, in light blue. This time he's spawning on the left hand side of Echo Isles. And it looks like same build order as on uh, TS. Whereas Elqua as well, starting with the same build again in pink. And he is, of course, on the right hand side. So, yeah, previously we've seen both of the players. Interestingly, with the same idea, creeping up to level 3, leaving the last camp to their ghouls while staffing across the map to um, an Ecolyte with a staff of teleportation. I guess that's not gonna happen here since there is only one staff of teleportation to be bought early on and it isn't as close and uh, here yeah, as natural to get with some early creeping. We'll see if both of the players again are gonna start by getting level 3. Or if this time, let's just quickly check if both of them again are gonna go for the Lich. Um, so, Sigurad finishes Elqua with the Lich. And Elfie, well, Sigurad is quite a bit later here. Second Sigurad coming here. With the Lich as well. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see if both of them are gonna creep up to level 3 again. Perhaps here, here, here would be a creep route. Or if uh, one of them is gonna get aggressive beforehand, perhaps with only the Lich, perhaps with Ghouls, you know, perhaps trying to deal some significant damage while the other one takes to uh, tier two, you know, with a with a push with not only the Lich but also Ghouls. We will find out about about it. So bunch of Ghouls on either side available already. Both of them have scouted. Both of them have the Acolyte. Yeah, sitting basically in between the opponent's base and their own or to be more precise in between the opponent's base and the marketplace so both of them are gonna see whether uh, the opponent or both of them are gonna know even if they don't see anything here whether the opponent is getting aggressive immediately or if they're gonna start with some creeping both of them do have the lich out right now both of them do have a rot Elfie again is pulling a bunch of goods earlier on here whereas uh, as we've seen Elqua did have the lich chilling here for a little bit Elqua despite that does have less lumber here for some reason. Both of them with the same lumber investment thus far. Uh, Ring of protection for Elfie. Both of them start with the green camp above their base. And gloves of haste for Elqua. And yeah, he is heading towards the left hand side right now. Elfie is heading towards the bottom. He just wants to have peace here and creep up his lich. But it looks like Elqua doesn't really agree here. Now with the Ecolite being scouted, is he turning around? Is he changing up his plan? Due to being scouted, Skeleton is heading out of the base here immediately by Elfie. That is some, yeah, crucial information that this one is going to provide. Is his opponent going to come in here to harass or not? That is the question. So far, the answer is no. Elqua just continues by creeping the middle here. Elfie... Yeah, seems to realize what's happening here, of course, thanks to his skeleton. And he's immediately going for the uh, mercenary camp. I'm assuming he's probably not going to buy any mercenaries here. But it's going to get some extremely valuable XP and perhaps like an energy pendant or boots or... Uh, Perhap. Well, the liches are being focused a lot here in that matchup. So, yeah, definitely a item which isn't entirely terrible. The big heal potion is not at all terrible as well, though. Lich of Elqua slowly getting closer to level 3. This one is also... Ah, is the Ecolite enough? Not quite. And he's actually not even going for the kill. So let's see. Tech is started. Um, I mean, I'm assuming this time the graveyard is going to come a little bit more quickly as there's no you know, harassment madness ensuing this time. Graveyard for Elqua is already being built tech-wise. Elfie is ahead by a tiny, tiny bit, but uh, probably nothing game deciding. He, Elqualid is, is the first one at the shop. He's getting the boots and he's waiting for 150, I imagine, for the staff. No? Really? Okay, there's the staff. But he's facing the level 3 Lich here and that one, as we can see, is dealing a huge load of damage to ghouls. And actually only two ghouls and a few skeletons creeping here. And I do not see a ghoul corpse. So, yeah, actually he bought... The Shadow Priest. 
and it looks like uh, the Lich here was already forced to use the Staff of Teleportation to get back to his own base. Yeah, we do see that it is on cooldown. And that's not what he wanted to make happen here with the Boots and the Staff. He still has the Potion, but does he really want to use it right now? Tier 2 is soon to finish, so I'm not sure if this is the greatest timing to push in here, because Acolytes will be rebuilt immediately. These two Ghouls will have to be careful, though. This Lich is still roaming around the bottom of the map. Lich is coming in first. Acolyte is being taken down. The uh, Ghouls are coming for the Lich though immediately. And yeah, he's not going to be able to do all too much. Getting another Nova out. Getting another Ghoul killed. Yeah, as I said, these two. I don't think he should have pulled them. But he did. And he lost one of them. But is the Lich going to be able to catch him here somewhere? Perhaps. We'll see. In the meantime, Tier 2 finished. Uh, no second... Crypt yet, and he's actually turned around, used the big heal potion, and the Lich here of uh, Elfie is definitely on the wrong track, Elkra coming in again, then again I, whoa, the ghouls, yeah, I don't see him doing anything here, there's the slow, the DK is, yeah, soon to spawn, he can kill one ghoul, okay, that's, can he even kill him? No, the Shadow Priest is there to provide some healing, so, yeah, that turned out to be not too bad of an investment by Elfie and his Lich is now there, but then again the Death Knight here is soon to spawn as well and he should be able to reach the shop here to buy a potion. Does he have the gold? Yes, he does. Decides not to buy the potion yet, now he's buying it and is using it. Still plenty of mana on Elfie's Lich who has taken a whole lot of damage, but uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to go all the way back into the space to chase this one down, I imagine, or is he? He's really trying here, pushing his luck a little bit, but why not? Tier 3 tech started. On both sides, Elqua slightly ahead this time. Slaughterhouse now coming for the Frenchman. No Slaughterhouse coming yet for Elfie. Would have the resources to get it. Doesn't have space in the bag. I think now maybe he's got it here. But he could just build it in front as well. It's not like there's a huge damage output by his opponent to really prevent that from coming up. And now Boots and Staff as well bought by Elfie. So again, we're not going to see the Gargoyles here. Uh, Elqua again is putting some uh, effort into creeping his Death Knight up quickly. I mean, he's gotten a huge XP lead on his DK in the previous game, but, uh, you know, given the way the end fight went, that didn't make any difference. Even the level 5 DK wouldn't have made a difference there, but, uh, yeah, we'll see if it's going to go better this time. Um, First Fiend is again being produced like in the previous uh, game, and it's again going to spawn right when his opponent is pushing. He's... Trying to evacuate the Acolytes. What is Elfie going for here? It looks like it's going to be the Acolytes who are returning right now. But the Nova should be doing a lot of damage. Let's see how many is he getting. One. Only one so far. Two with the Skeletons. Is there Coil available? There should be. Yeah, Coil is available. And even the third Acolyte is falling here. The tech is not quite finished yet. He's going to suffer a lot here in terms of gold income. Quite, quite the nice timing by Elfie. And Elqua this time is definitely going to have to fight from behind economy-wise again. Slaughterhouse starts producing the first statue. The uh, Death Knight is heading back across the map. The Lich cheated a bit here using the Staff Teleportation. Doesn't want to waste any time. Ghoul's being pulled. And what is he going to creep next here, maybe? I mean, this one's been crept. This one's been crept. Or is he going to go straight for the shop? No, it looks like he's going to creep here. The Lich is heading straight for the shop. And, uh, yeah, he can get whatever he wants, basically, at the moment. No challenge there. Maybe Invis Potion again, like on, uh, yeah, Invis Potion, like on Tarina Stand. And surprising, I thought he could buy another item here, perhaps a scroll, but uh, maybe he wants to try and go for some creep check and uh, steal an item, maybe, but... Not thus far. Level 2 on the DK of Elqua in the meantime. He is at 35 supply against the 34 of Elfie. And Elfie is just doing the same strat again. Do some economical damage. Go for a second slaughterhouse. Get destroy attack. And I imagine he's gonna wanna get a couple destroyers again. And he's gonna wanna fight with them again. The Lich is being caught here actually. Or could be caught here. But uh, without his own Lich there, there's not really too much he can do against this harassment. Actually, the Death Knight is going to be forced to use the invul Potion here already. In the meantime, this Lich is revealing himself. Nova, I guess, on the first uh, Acolyte. Rod used. In the meantime, the Death Knight has actually fallen here. We will find out eventually if he used the invul Potion or not. And the Lich all by himself is able to prevent Elfie from creeping. In the meantime, 
This Lich is able to prevent Elkva again from mining anything. There are three Acolytes alive here, four alive. He killed two, if my math is correct. And the DK and the Goose are heading back here. Again, the DK of Elkva with a decent XP lead. The staff here should be available. I guess one more Nova will kill this Ghoul. Oh, no, it's not. Casting the Nova one hit too early on. The Lich continues chasing stuff down. And the Forest Row Shadow Priest has fallen here. The Lich uh, staffing to the very back of his own base. The DK here has also reached level 2 though. The statue should really not go after the Lich of uh, Elkwa. Elfie with the orb on his Lich by now. Elkwa not quite. He's reached tier 3 a while ago. He's got full mining again. 8600 in here compared to... The 7,300, so that's a 1,300 gold difference. A huge blow for Elqua here. Still at 37 supply against 39, but double slaughterhouse up, destroyer upgrade ready, and three statues out already. So his army, destroyers against ghouls, are gonna do somewhat fine, is what I'm boldly predicting here. And he actually did not use the invo potion. Probably decided to deliberately let that hero go down. That's quite a quite a decision here. And another invis potion by Elfie. Keeping track of his opponent's army. Destroyer upgrade coming as well as web by Elqua. He's actually going for the fiend here, the Death Knight. Does have level 3. He needs to turn around now, realizes it, and should be able to easily save this fiend. And the push is happening. DK, Lich, uh, it's got a TP, no scrolls, one destroyer up in the air. And three more, four more statues available. He's got only supply to morph three more destroyers, though not having a cigarette coming. So he's going to push with 50 out of 50 here, four destroyers. And one statue here in the back, plus six goals against 37 supply for Elqua, who... Summoning. Uh, where's the DK? There's the DK. He does have a town portal. Again, he's got the superior heroes. DK almost for lit Lich 3.5 against the level 4 Lich and the level 2 DK still, but is he gonna be able to deal with the mana destroyers this time? He's he's doing it again. He's again town portaling right underneath these, underneath these mana destroyers and all of the ghouls again are falling. 29 supply against 50 and again, this is not gonna work out for Elkwa. The Lich is in trouble here. Is there a coil coming? It isn't coming in time, and the DK is the last man standing this time. 15 supply against 50, against uh, 46 for Elfie, and this is going to be a 2-0 GG by Elqua. We've seen kind of the same game twice, even uh, the same duration, same strategy, more or less, and uh, Elqua falling or making the same huge mistake twice. TP, I mean, he should have TP'd towards the left-hand side of his base, like in front of his base, not to the destroyers. I mean, he still would have had a very difficult position, but at least his ghouls could have spread a little bit and wouldn't have all died immediately. But for some reason, he didn't do it. I, I, I can't really explain why. Um, again, a nicely timed push by Elfie, doing a lot of economical damage to Elqua. Again, Elfie following it up with a big destroyer push. Again, Elqua having a huge load of ghouls, which he lost immediately. And follows it up with a hero loss and follows it up with a GG. And there's really there's really not much to analyze here in this game. A pretty straightforward, clean victory for Elfie. Thanks to a superior strat and superior execution. 2-0 for him. And uh, playday number 2 of group A is finished. And Elfie and Hooligan are sitting at the top of the group, looking fine with six points, whereas Hasu Ops and Nightwolf, both with, with one victory, one loss in the middle of the group, and Knopf and Elqua already not looking strong after two playdays. Both of them haven't lost, uh, haven't won a best of three so far. Elqua not even able to win a map yet. He is going to, you know, have to prove next playday against Hasu Ops that he can do better in Undead Mirror than he just did against Elfie. Uh, Hooligan is gonna fight Knopf and Elfie is gonna fight Nightwolf. Both Hooligan and Elfie gonna have the chance to already, you know, get themselves into a, an incredibly nice position after three playdays with potentially three victories. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna see next in Group A. But 
Before that, we do have three more groups to go through on play day number two. Next up is going to be group B, and we're going to start with Kemper against Protoys. Kemper, who got a, got a victory on play day number one against Ciara, and uh, Protoys, who got basically a death win against uh, Sase on the first play day. So we're going to see him in action for the first time. Another match, including Undead. I hope you'll tune in for that. I hope you'll give this one a thumbs up and a nice comment, and I'll see you for Pro Toys against Kemper. Bye.